Hello everyone, it's the weekend. I'm going to take you along as I do some grocery shopping. We are very low on a lot of things, so I thought that might be an interesting video. And I'm gonna go work out, and John had a half day today, so we got to hang in the morning, play with his mom's puppy, see his sister and her baby, and now I did a few like secretarial call doctor's appointments and haircut appointments and things like that but we're getting out going got on warm clothes because it's clearly blustery cold out here so let's go does anyone know how to get people to stop sending you mail that you don't want like grocery store ads and like uh, TV companies and things that like you already have or you don't need or car companies um, because I'm not sure what to do but I feel like our mailbox is always full of it and I just checked the mail and it was only like ads for things that we didn't need and I didn't want it sitting in the car so I just left it in there I, I just like don't know what to do about that any thoughts also I want to talk about podcasts that I've been loving because podcasts really hype me up like that's probably one of my favorite things to do when I'm alone like traveling from work or whatever um, is listen to podcasts because they're so uplifting and like funny motivational there's just a podcast for everything um, I've been way more into it than music actually uh, ooh fast please Okay, I'm parked now, so I wanna continue with what I was saying about podcasts and why I love them so much. So my favorite kind of podcast is number one, this one called What We Said Podcast, and it's really just girls talking, it's entertaining. They ask for submissions from their listeners for funny stories, so they do like worst accidental test texts or crazy proposal stories or um, embarrassing stories. Sometimes they interview like famous people, um, famous people sightings and how those famous people actually are in real life. So it's just really entertaining. Um, my second favorite one is the Ed Milet show and he's just like so motivational. Okay. So here are some of my favorite podcasts. I love this one. Um, I've only listened to one episode of these two so far. This is the Catholic podcast, but I'm looking forward to look, uh, listening to more of those. I really love this model health one. Um, these two are probably my favorites right now. Haven't listened to this one. This, uh, These three are kind of hit or miss. And yeah, those are my favorites. If you have any good ones, please let me know. Some great podcasts, but the one I was just listening to, the Gal Pals podcast, just made me think of something they were talking about how like kids shows are so influential to the kids and um like talking about Harriet the Spy and how it like subconsciously kids get the idea to like sneak around and listen and I was reflecting and I was remembering um how when I was younger I like picked up the phone when I knew that my mom was talking about something for my birthday and I was just on like the home phone listening upstairs and I found out that she was taking me and my friends to um an Aaron Carter concert and I was so excited but I didn't want her to know that I knew but I wanted her to feel like she was making the right choice and so I was just like so obvious I was dancing around the house singing <laughs> Aaron Carter songs like all week long and she's like oh like you really love him don't you and I was like mm-hmm I do I really love him and like now it's kind of funny but it just goes to show you or the um, Lizzie McGuire show when she would talk like about like behind other girls backs and they had a whole episode about gossip like I loved that show but it does give you the idea about gossip when when you're a little kid you probably wouldn't even know that so I think that just makes me think like what I want my kids to um, watch. That is that. I'm about to go into the gym. I've got my water. It's got lemon juice in it as always. Just that big bottle of lemon juice. It's so good. I just took nail polish off my nails and I use like those buffer squares so I can't stop doing this. And I try to bring in the camera. Um, we'll see. Maybe I won't show all of it but I'll, I'd like to show some of my workout. Uh, Another tip is that I try to do my workout before all the other errands because errands just exhaust me. 
Um, and I've made the mistake so many times of doing all of like the really fun things like um, that I really want to do in errands before I do my workout, which can be fun if I have energy, but if I don't have energy, then it's like just, just really hard. So not making that mistake today. It is a little bit later in the day, but um, John was home this morning and we had a great morning together. Again, John will be on here a little bit more. I feel like he's like a sneaky little ghost in the background, but he's really not like MIA all the time, but he is, he has just happened to be when I'm doing these videos because when I'm with him, I'm generally just hanging out with him. But anyway, let's do this. <laughs> again oh what is going on here I just left um, Lululemon I was returning things it's actually the same thing I was trying to do the first um, time I made a vlog at all and I was going into Lululemon but I never ended up returning those things because the line was really long so finally got back to it I returned them and then I didn't end up buying anything because I just felt rushed and I had other things to do but I have my grocery list and we're going into Whole Foods right now. John, what were you thinking when you made this? Please put your face on the camera. I was thinking. Come on, peek beach, over the edge. Beach vibes. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> He's never on the camera. He hides up there in the window. <laughs> Peeks his head down for a moment. So mysterious. We had a nice night. This lighting, man. Really the look. Yeah, we had a great night. And we're going to bed now because we're all tired. Doing my five minute nightly tidy, which is this. Fold the blankets. <laughs> okay, it's the end of the night. Ooh, it's a little blurry. It's the end of the night. Going to bed now. Good night. Hello, I just got back from a run slash walk, but I wanna show you what we just did and I'm gonna put in the clip of um, us working on it. But look!
Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this morning with me. Thank you for watching. Um, I did a grocery haul. I want to show everyone. Let's do this. Oh, one last thing I want to mention before we get started is that John is trying like a lower carb um, diet right now just because it's helpful supposedly with Lyme um, and so with Lyme disease. So that's kind of why some of these products are like um, like marketed as lower carb. I generally like don't buy the like lower carb marketing things just because I feel like whole foods are like gonna be what's best for him he's been trying this for like two weeks but um it's nice to have some variety and i don't think there's anything wrong with getting um a few like less natural foods we usually do like i'd say like 80 percent whole foods and then um we have like you know some vegan cheese or waffles sometimes or um you know you'll see the options that we get but we eat a lot of whole foods and so i want to show you kind of what we buy thanks for watching start off with the produce first of all so we make lots of salads during the week so we get um multiples of this romaine and multiples of this spring mix john only does spring mix i like to mix it up um so we have another one of these in the fridge and another one of these Lots of avocados. Um, we've been going through those pretty fast. And berries, we generally get like one or two kinds of berries a week. Um, we also got this guacamole. And then zucchini. So <laughs> this is not even half of it because we cut up zucchini in tiny little slices and then freeze them and put them in our smoothies in the morning. It just gives it like a thicker texture. I'll show you what that looks like actually. So I just do this, it lasts not that long because um, we eat them in our smoothies every single day. So, Also um, one long cucumber and this is a um, jicama. So we slice this up, sometimes you can um, air fry it or you can just dip it like you would like cucumbers or carrots or something. We have lots of carrots already, that's another staple but we already have them. Um, freezer things. So we got this chicken plus probably three or two more of that. We go through chicken pretty fast. Um, these cauliflower rices for, I wanted John to try that. And then blueberries, we always do um, blueberries in our smoothies in the morning. These keto waffles, um, he's never had these before. Um, they do have eggs in them and generally John doesn't eat eggs um, so because they bother his stomach. Same with me, unfortunately. We both love them. Nothing wrong with eggs. Um, they just bother our stomach. So he tried these um, along with a few other things yesterday. So he didn't feel very good, but he also was drinking wine. So I'm not really sure what was going on, but we'll just... I say take a break from things when you don't know if it's working for you and then try it alone with foods that you know do not bother your stomach. So he had too many variables yesterday so we just have to take a break from that and give it another shot. Some plain turkey burgers. I like these because a lot of burgers have lots of weird ingredients. These just have turkey and rosemary extract. So I thought that was pretty great. And then um, these grass-fed beef burgers. Um, John likes a burger every once in a while, so I like those. I really like these um, a lot. Got these almond flour wraps. I love the Siete brand. Um, they just do a great job at everything they make. Um, so that's a brand that we buy a lot. This mozzarella cheese is another refrigerator staple for us. Um, it's pretty simple ingredients, cashews, coconut oil, um, tapioca starch, and agar gum are probably the two things that I'm like, mm, I wouldn't love to have this all the time, but um, this is something since we're eating so much whole food that like we make um, exception for, room for, that there's going to be some small processed amounts of food just um, for variety's sake. This is a really great sauce by Primal Kitchen. I love Primal Kitchen because they don't use um, cane sugar in their ketchup and their products. It's um, nice to avoid that when we can um, or just reduce the amount. Um, then some simple bone broth and low sodium vegetable broth. 
Um, almond milk, we got two of these. Apple cider vinegar. This is Fit Vine, it's just a lower sugar wine. Lots of Topo Chico's, I just took out some of them. This is a really great um, local sauce, so it's Cleveland made and it has, let's see if this will focus. Their pasta sauce doesn't have any added sugar. I thought that this didn't have any added sugar either. This is their pizza sauce, although I just noticed that it does have one gram of added sugar, but um, I'm not gonna return it. That's just something that I'll look for the pasta sauce next time. This peanut butter, um, just plain peanut butter, coconut aminos, almond flour, this bar, John has never tried this before, but it was a lower carb bar and I thought it might be nice to have as a treat. Um, same with this bread, never tried it before. Um, it does have eggs in it, so we'll see how it goes if he can have that on occasion. We just got a few random things this time to try on occasion. Um, these noodles are also another friendly low carb option um, and we both like those. And we're not against carbs at all. Um, this is just like a trial week or two. So I'm still like eating carbs. We have um, delicata squash and we have wraps and stuff, but um, this is just to see how his stomach reacts and um, see if it helps my stomach in the process by we kind of eat semi the same. And then this dark chocolate, um, it has four grams of sugar per serving, which I think is pretty great. Um, and it's 85% cacao. So good ingredients here. Um, that's our grocery haul. And last but not least, we got this Whole Foods multi-surface cleaner and I already put it in this bottle. I just reload these bottles because I think they're really cute. I got these bottles off Amazon and the sticker is off Amazon as well. So use them for hand soaps, dish soaps, and then the spray. And that is our order, our Whole Foods grocery order. Oh, someone's here. I just want to mention too, like I realize that we spend a ridiculous amount of money on groceries, but right now in this phase of our life where we're both like really trying to heal from John's Lyme and my SIBO, it's kind of just not an option. Um, we have to invest our money in our health right now, so that's why I'm doing acupuncture and why we are taking all these supplements and spending like tons of money on expensive food. It's, it's really our top priority and we're not spending tons of money on other things. So um, we're not going out and doing expensive trips all the time or buying a bunch of things. Like we really use our money towards our health and um, we're hoping that it pays off but right now it's definitely expensive so um, if this isn't like realistic for you i totally get it but just know that you can eat a mostly whole foods diet um with some exceptions of course but mostly whole foods diet at any grocery store just um, shopping the perimeter of the aisles and getting foods that are just simply one or two ingredients when you are buying boxed food buy the boxed food that has like ingredients that you recognize really trying to stick to the basics um, it does such a wonder for your health um, also drinking quality coffee and because coffee can have mold in it um, we could talk about that another time but drinking lots of water and exercising, like those are the things, whole foods, water, exercise, that are really going to keep your body strong, um, like from a nutrition standpoint and exercise standpoint, but then you also have to incorporate the prayer and um, the mindfulness and really making sure that your whole body is healthy by cultivating good relationships and not stressing um, too much or doing stress relief techniques like I talked about in my last video. Just really taking care of your body. Um, it shows from the inside out. So I hope that you guys liked this video. If you do and you want to give it a thumbs up or um, subscribe. I'd be very pumped about that, but thank you again for watching. Um, I hope that this was helpful and I hope you have a really wonderful day and I'm very thankful for you. See you later.